God, he feels quick with that catalyst on. Back to him. What a ping. Sonic Wes! Thought it went in. I thought that went in. That would have been such a god tier strike. Alright, guys and gentlemen, welcome back to his glory. Oh my god! Alright boys and girls, so we have got a very juicy little episode today. So you guys have read the title, so you already know we're going to be jumping into a Saul Niguez review today. I haven't actually bought him yet, lads, so let me go and do that. I think he's around about 60 to 70k, if I'm not mistaken. I, I might be wrong, that was that was this morning. So hopefully, hopefully he has at least stayed at that price, you know, hasn't gone up, that would be good. How much is you? How much is you saw? I think he's I think he's gone up in price a little bit, which is understandable. It is a very good card. Where the fuck are you, Saul? How much has he gone up in bro? I should have fucking bought him this isn't good lads this is not good don't get panic just calm down 77k all right we'll get that one okay boys and girls so he's currently at 77,000 coins there is obviously a good chance that he does come down in price i don't think he'll stay at that price i think he'll, he'll probably come down to about 60k by the end of the week if i'm guessing but yeah the reason i really wanted to try this card out boys and girls you're just looking at this card you're probably thinking it's not that crazy but it's really well rounded he's obviously got the four star weak but high high work rates which is great paces yeah it's okay but the the shooting stats is really nice and and the dribbling stats are really good so i really wanted to try this card out because he can not only attack but he's also got decent enough defendings where you can definitely use this card as a, as a cdm if you want to mate and for me i personally i would use this as a as an all-round center midfielder he's got great defending and great physical so it's a really good card really well rounded and i really like those shooting stats so i'm, I'm quite excited for this one i'm so stoked my dude so yeah we've put together a cheeky little team for Saul Niguez. as you guys can see we've uh, we've also thrown in the gerard moreno who uh, featured in the last in the last video. Not only that, boys and girls, we have thrown in the Chris Smalling SBC. I think by the time this video is going out, I'm not sure if it's still out or not. It might be, but it's certainly not for long. Uh, this Smaldini is, like, I've used the Inform. I love Inform Smaldini. He's so freaking good. So this 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 SBC, for what, 30,000 coins I think it cost, was an absolute no-brainer. I love Smaldini in this game as it is. This card is a decent upgrade on the uh, on the 83 as well. Obviously, you can get upgrades uh, from, from Informs and stuff like that. Yeah, I I really hope you guys did this because this is definitely one of the better SBCs EA's released recently. This is a really good one for 30,000 coins. Medium high, six foot four. The pace, I mean, the acceleration isn't great, but the 82 sprint speed is really nice. He doesn't feel slow though, if you ask me. He does actually feel pretty fast, but it's, the standing tackle, fantastic. Interceptions, amazing. Strength, god tier. What the fuck? Partnering him though, we have gone with this to Maya. Tomiyasu. Tomiyasu. This is obviously one of the season objective players. It's a fantastic card. I mean, this card is, is probably better than Smaldini if I'm looking at it. I didn't realize how good this card was. Holy shit. 87 standing tackle, 91 strength. Amazing pace. It just blows most center backs away. Medium high work rates. Why is EA giving this away? I have no idea. Like, he's not the easiest to link up in Italy. He does get a green link to Gary Medell, which is pretty cool. But that is a, that's a hell of a card. That is absolutely phenomenal. That look good. So what I want to do with these two cards, boys and girls, is I do you want to put anchor chem styles on both of them i'm not going to waste my shadow cards i've been i've only got one left but uh, i was stocking them up from various objectives they're all untradeable a lot of these chem styles i've got two anchors that's perfect so i'm going to put one on small dini i'm going to put one on tomiyasu another good thing about this small dini lads is i obviously had his 83 red card i'm now able to put that into the 80 what is it the 86 plus so uh, he's going straight in i've also put in kulu into the 86 plus i love in kulu in this game but tomiyasu just is better and if i ever need need him for syria objectives and stuff I'm, I'm just obviously going to use Tommy Asu. but yeah that about sums up their team I also just real quick need to get a chem star for Saul Niguez I don't know what I want here I would use maybe a shadow or a hunter if I you know wasn't going to sell him afterwards if it was going in my main team I think I think a hunter card or a shadow would be perfect we don't care however for the episode I am just going to use the catalyst chem style I don't really use catalysts uh, for players that I usually keep but it does up the pace quite significantly I mean it's a really well-rounded card it doesn't really need an upgrade uh, in any area specific I guess pace is the weakest area, so I guess you probably want to upgrade the pace. I honestly think a Hunter, Hawk, Shadow, Engine Chem Style, all of those Chem Styles would be fantastic. So yeah, I think that about sums up things, boys and girls. I'm just going to jump into a couple of games of Fart Rivals. Obviously, try this Saul Niguez as a centre mid. I will switch into a 4 one 2 one 2 I think what we will do, I know for the last few episodes I've been using uh, I've been using Trent Alexander-Arnold as an actual right back, but for this episode, I'm going to be using him as a centre mid. Hey, hey, hey! 
want to probably show you guys what he's like at centre mid because he is a beast. So I'm going to go Trent uh, switching with Ox if the game would fucking work. I don't know what's going on right now. So we're going to switch that. I'm going to have Saul as the left, as the left CM. I'm going to have Seed off there. I'm going to have, wait, I don't want Trent. I want, I'm going to have to use Seed off as a CDM, aren't I? Yeah, no, but that works out. No, that's okay. I mean, Seed off isn't the best CDM. But if I'm being totally honest, boys and girls, like from what I've used as a Seed off, his defending feels completely fine. So I, I'm not actually mad at that. So yeah, that's what, that is what we will do. So boys and girls, fingers crossed this Saul Nagues card is really good. He looks really good in my opinion. So uh, yeah, let's jump into game number one. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? You fucking idiot! Oh, come on, Michelle. No! How did he finish it? Oh, is that Pele? It is Pele, isn't it? Yeah, mate, that makes sense. Okay. Saul Nagues with a great pass. Just say it off. Into Saul. God, he feels quick with that catalyst on. Back to him. What a ping. Saul Nagues! What a win in. I thought that went in. That would have been such a god tier strike. I like it. See it off. Nice. Oh my god, that is a glorious pass. Guedes, please. Yes, Guedes. I thought the keeper might get to him, and then when he did, I thought he was going to miss. That's a great finish from Guedes. The pass from Butra, though, was phenomenal stuff. Tackle. Can't play Butra straight through the middle. What a pass. Come on, chip that. Oh, what a brilliant. Play that is! Come on, Bootrees! Pulling all the strings at the minute, and Gwedis is meeting them with fantastic finishing. <laughs> Incredible. So, good tackle. Love that. Enough from the clown! Alright, so on Gwedis. Let's test out that dribbling. In fact, forget that. Let's play that pass. What a pass that is. Good stuff. Gwedis, hopefully, get his hat trick here. Are you sure about that? Joe Moreno, he plays an absolute beauty of a pass to Butra. Butra, can he finish here? What the fuck is he shooting right now? The pass from Seidorf, considering. Brilliant from Joe Moreno into Sol, who dribbles. Execute. Oh, this is brilliant. Can we get it back to Sol? It's meant for Sol. Joe Moreno! What a goal! What a beautiful freaking goal that is. And a great finish on the right foot. That was, that was good. Come on. Give, give the boys a round of applause for that. that was, that's pretty fucking good. Ah! Oh, my ears burn. Well, overall, boys and girls, Saul had a pretty decent performance. He made a couple of decent tackles, which is obviously great. But what really stood out to me was his dribbling. His dribbling felt really, really nice. And he felt surprisingly fast, I'm guessing, because of obviously that Catalyst chem style that I put in him. So not a bad chem style whatsoever. I would probably say Shadow Card or Hunter on him would be more useful. Obviously, upping the shooting in there and defending. But, you know, obviously the Catalyst made him absolutely lightning quick. So uh, he felt really good on the ball, particularly. He was really unlucky not to score an absolute wonder goal early on. That would have been a sensational goal. He was seriously unlucky. But so far, I really like the feel of this card. It feels really solid and well-rounded. You know, he can, he can make the tackles, do the dribbles, and do the shooting so far. So, I'm really having fun with this card. He's been very decent. His passing as well, not to mention, was phenomenal in this game. So, yeah, hopefully more of the same from Souls. Good so far. So, let's jump into game number two. So, great tackle. Good stuff. Whip that bad boy in. Smoldini could win that! Smoldini! Worth the 30,000 coins if you're going to keep scoring goals like that. What a brilliant header. I love it. In fact, it makes me really horny. What a pass, Sonic Wes! No! How have we not finished that? So is that's a lovely back hill. His defending is phenomenal. Can we score this? Ah, oh, unlucky. But his defending is pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. Again, like he, his tackling is clean, boys. No sponging around here. The best word I can say to uh, describe this was boom. <laughs> whipped, whipped into Smoldini for a round two. Oh, Tommy Yasu this time! <laughs> I love it. Tommy Yasu with the with the second goal. I can't even score my attackers at the minute. The centre halves are doing it. Smoldini with the initial header drops down to Tommy Yasu. A little bit lucky, only a little bit. Smoldini. Off. Oh, no, come on, no! Why? I got the tackle! Give me the freaking ball afterwards, man! This is bullshit! No. 
That's not a free kick, yay. <laughs> it's a penalty. A penalty? Excuse me? <laughs> if I don't save this, we're going to have words. You are fucking lucky, EA, yeah, because you know that was bullshit. You know it was. Squares. Great pass. An even better one to Gerald Moreno. I mean, uh, Guedes, my bad. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Charlotte, come on, come on. All right, great goal. That, the commentary there was awful. I couldn't even get the fucking names of my players right. What a finish from Trent Alexander-Arnold. That is what he's capable of at centre mid. A phenomenal, phenomenal goal from Trent. Great finish. Back to Saw. Oh, what a goal this will be. Oh, so Too much sauce. That's a 10. Where has gone? Oh, he's onside. Surely that's 5 1. How did we nearly let this guy get it to 2 0? If he'd scored that penalty, it'd have been 2 0. Should call it EA, I think. Set from, from Sol. There we go. Great. Great performance from the boys. Great stuff. Come on, another round of applause. They, they deserve it again. Come on. Shut the fuck up. Hello, all boys and girls. I really enjoyed this all card. Like, genuinely, it was exactly what I wanted from a centre mid. He was super good on the ball. Felt really quick, obviously, again, with the Castle Chem style. The uh, the defending on this card was phenomenal. He did no sponge tackles and was, was just in really good positions to defend. He didn't get forward too much, unless I did an L1 and X pass, which obviously makes them go forward. But on his own, he wasn't making crazy runs. So if you do want... If you do want a more of a drop back centre mid, a player that just stays in the middle of the park, Saul definitely did that. We obviously scored an amazing goal with Saul. It was a fantastic finish on his weak foot as well, which is great. And it was, it was just a delicious, fantastic little chip. Yeah, I just overall really liked the card. There was no glaring flaws with this card. He just was really good on the ball, felt quick enough, great defending, great strength. Obviously, I think he has 90 stamina, so no problems there. Scored on his right foot, so no weak foot problems. Just a great card. Like, he's literally as solid as a centre mid can get. The only issue I would say with this card, not so much on his performance, but I'd say the price. 80,000 coins is a lot of money for a centre mid. Uh, I definitely think there are cheaper options out there. So obviously 80,000 coins is, you, you want to weigh up whether this card is going to get more informs and stuff. If you believe he will, then obviously 80,000 coins is a no-brainer. But if he stays like this... I do feel like, I do feel like 80,000 coins is a lot. If he comes down in price, maybe to 50, 60k, it's definitely worth it, without a doubt. It's definitely worth 50 to 60,000 coins, but I think his 86, which isn't that far off this card, is only 30,000 coins. So I do believe 80,000 coins is a tad overpriced. But uh, yeah, again, if he comes down, he's definitely worth it. But as a, as a performer, as a, as a performance, that was phenomenal. That was it was as good as it gets. It was really good, really good stuff. I really enjoyed him. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed him. Here, boys and girls, I'm gonna call it. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, smash like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Peace.